a repurposed coal mine on an island in Germany, would play host to the penultimate round of the Driftmasters European Championship. And with expectations running high after an already record-breaking season, this event would have a lot to live up to. This place, Feropolis, it's amazing. The lights in the night, everything tracks so cool. There's no going off in safe places. Big machinery all the way around the track, especially at night when there are all lights and it still looks super sick. I know what this place is all about and in the evening with all the lights and the surrounding and the atmosphere and the crowd, it is definitely one of the top events I've ever done. Sunset over an incredible backdrop, 16 of Europe's best remained. They had survived every gauntlet and equally believed tonight was going to be their night. The high speeds, immovable concrete walls and thousands watching in attendance weren't going to shake their confidence now. Each driver knew that if they wanted that podium, they would have to dig deeper, go harder and shake any previous doubts. The stage lights were on, and it was time for the Driftmasters grid to once again prove that they were the elite. This would be a fight to the finish. Polish superstar Paweł Korpelinski would put in an incredible performance to take third step on the German podium. Steve Bagsy Biagioni has not had the easiest road in Driftmasters. Between mechanical failures and bad luck, nothing had gone his way. But on nights like tonight, when his team was in his corner, anything can happen. He would find himself in his first DMEC final against defending champion James Dean. This was going to be a battle for the ages. Here we go, Dean leading in Banksy, and Banksy is right there with Dean on initiation, not letting the Irishman get away, and Banksy is right on the corner. Banksy up and close and personal with Dean. Dean playing with the front right, trying to run that wall, and Banksy they're going to make one last dive into that corner. Big angle from Dean as they go in, and Banksy stays right there with him across the line. Dean's
These days, most people will say they've seen it all. As the dust settled in Feropolis, it would be hard for any Drift fan to say this event hadn't erased that mindset. The ridiculous setting mirrored the insanity on track, and once again, drifting proved that with enough imagination and innovation, anything is possible. James Dean took his first European win of the season, the points lead in the championship, but even more significantly, set up a final in his home country against his two biggest homegrown rivals. For the Irish, all roads now lead home to Mandelo Park.